what are you expecting? You guys see in the title, it says, what are you expecting? Thoughts and words. Because your thoughts and words need to line up with what it is that you're expecting. They need to line up. And oftentimes, uh, we're in expectation for some really great things. But we have to be mindful and ask ourselves, do my thoughts really line up with the things that I'm, that I'm expecting, right? Do they really line up with the things that I'm expecting? And guys, it's not the easiest thing to, um, especially when you want things to manifest in your life that aren't actually going down right now. Like that's not what's really happening in your right now situation. It can be difficult to um, make sure our words align with our words and our thoughts align with that. But yeah, I'm a kingdom entrepreneur. I, I'm subject to talk about guy in the middle of a math problem, children, right? Um, and so for those of you who are believers, um, I don't know if you remember the parable that talks about how Jesus spoke to the fig tree, right? You know, he's with his boys and they're walking and you know, he commands the fig tree to die. Now, visually in, in our eyesight, the tree didn't die visually, right? What they saw, it's not like it just instantly shriveled up and died, but that was, but the next day when they returned, it shriveled up and died. And that's because um, what God was, what Jesus was commanding and what he was saying had to first get to the root of the thing. And so for whatever it is that you're looking to manifest or do different in your life or your business, um, much of it is going to transpire through a process. And you just have to be mindful daily, day in and day out. The word says that we should meditate on the word day and night. And, he, and it says that for a reason, because we face so many things that look nothing like what it is that we desire our life to be like. If it's a new home, a new business, a new car, a new relationship, peace, love, joy, um, our health to be different, whatever those things are that we desire it to look like, it is a process. But did you guys know that a lot of the things that you you have been speaking is what has manifested in your life right now? It's a process. Okay, um, listen, we live in a voice activated world somebody put that in the comments voice activated world whether you guys know it or not or even, or really have thought about it we live in a voice activated world and i'm going to give you guys a really good example and i pray that this blesses you that you're mindful of your thoughts and your words and you're mindful that your expectations and your thoughts and words line up right we live in a voice activated wor world and i'm gonna sh i'm gonna tell you guys why right if you turn on the radio and a song comes on from back in the day, from back in the day, right? Voice activated, absolutely his first and uh, last lady. If you turn on the radio and a song comes on from back in the day, does it not change your whole mindset, your whole mood, your actions? You might be like, yeah, that was my song. And then your mind goes back to what was going on in the past at that time. Um, you, you start to invoke different feelings that you used to feel or that song makes you feel. A song, a voice, we live in a voice activated world. A song can come on the radio and change our mood. It can be a good song, it can be a sad song. All of those things change our mood and they ultimately change the direction that we head in for the day. And that's one of the reasons I say you guys have to be extremely mindful of how you are, um, how you're, what you're listening to on a regular basis um, and what's going into your ear because we live in a voice activated world. It affects our emotions. Another thing, when you guys watch television, some of the things, say for instance, if it's a horror movie, yeah, I don't hear me. Or maybe if it's a lot of violence or maybe if it's a reality show, right? It changes how you think, guys. You may wanna, if you're watching a reality show, you may wanna go and go shopping and get you some red bottoms instead of investing in your business. We live in a voice activated world. And so you guys have to understand how important it is for you to be mindful of what your thoughts and your words are. And they're generated a lot by what we hear, even the words that you're saying to yourself, right? And so oftentimes we talk more about what we don't want instead of what we do want. I want you guys to change that regardless of what it looks like. Remember, it's a process, right? And so eventually the words and the thoughts that you are having, they're going to manifest in your life. Whatever is transpiring now, their words and thoughts that manifested from previous times, right? And so I want you guys to be mindful, stop in your tracks, 
stop in your tracks and uproot any negative thought that doesn't align with what you're expecting. If you're expecting um, to open a new business, if you're expecting um, increase in your business, if you're expecting um, uh, joy in your home or peace in your life or change in your health, you're going to have to stop in your tracks whenever negative thoughts and a negative thought is simply a thought that doesn't line up with your expectations. That's a negative thought. Listen, the word says, um, and this is a scripture that my mom gave me years ago when I was going through a trying time and it changed my life it, because words have power, right? The written word and the spoken word, they have power. Um, she gave me Philippians 4, 8 through 9. It has become one of my favorite scriptures. Um, it says, whatever is pure, lovely, just, holy, righteous, think on those things. And um, and you'll end up, you know, having a, a measure of peace. I'm paraphrasing the scripture, guys, but y'all can look it up. Uh, Philippians 4, uh, 8 through 9. And so, you know, a lot of times if, if we... So when I say negative, right, it doesn't have to necessarily be a curse word or someone calling you out of your name to be negative. Negative can simply be uh, something that doesn't align with what the will of God is for your life, that you should uh, prosper and be in health. That could be negative. It doesn't that doesn't line up. Right. And so you have to continuously and repeatedly say what you're expecting, not what you don't want, but what you do want. You have to continue to repeat those things over and over and over again. So on the day, I wanted to ask you guys, what are you really expecting? What are you really expecting? And do your thoughts and your words line up with what you're expecting to change or be different in your life, your business, your relationships, or even in your body, in your health? Make sure that your thoughts and words line up and eventually that thing will manifest. It will eventually um, manifest. So what you continuously say today ultimately becomes your future. What you continuously say today ultimately becomes your future. And I say that because what happens is once you begin to repeatedly hear yourself talk about your greatness, talk about the great things that are going to happen in your business and your life, your your actions begin to line up with that. So you, you begin to um, move in a realm of solutions that take you to that very thing that you're continuously speaking over your business and over your life, as opposed to uh, talking about the things that, that are not manifesting, that are that you don't want in your life, right? So when you begin to, to continuously, remember it says we should meditate on the word day and night. So daily, you know, in the morning, especially in the morning, guys, because it really directs how the rest of your day will be. And whenever you find yourself going outside of that, you have to uproot that negative thought and um, and change it so that it matches what you really want your day to look like, what you really want your business to look like, what you really want your life, your family, your relationships to look like. We have to change our thoughts and our words. So guys, that's my take on this morning. What are you expecting? That's the first thing. Ask yourself what you're expecting because some of you, your thoughts and words do line up with your expectations, but you're not expecting enough. Y'all yeah, don't hear me. Sometimes your words and thoughts do line up with your expectations, but the problem is you're not expecting the right things. So you have to expect great things in your life, business, relationships, and in your health. You have to be an expectation for those things, and then you have to make sure that your thoughts, those things that you're thinking, I say it all the time, your mind has a lot to do with your money and everything else that you set out to do. If your thoughts aren't lining up with the great things that you're expecting in your life, in your business, if your words aren't matching those very things, um, imagine your words going out into the world, right, on, on a path to get to you and then all of a sudden you know you come back and you say like a negative word and it throws the, the initial words off track and so guys i don't want you to begin doubting in your in your process just continue to speak the thoughts and words that line up with what you're expecting in your life and your business and you will find that you'll begin to line your actions will begin to line up with those very things and you'll actually reject things that don't look anything like what you're expecting i appreciate you guys as always if you're on the broadcast you know what we do at the end of the broadcast tap the screen for hearts to show love if it helped your business or your life in any measure speak the right words and have the right thoughts that will help you actually manifest those things in your life and your business